Hi, welcome back to Learn Payload with Colin. Today we're going to do, we're just going to walk through the project plan that I put together for our real estate marketplace. Um, and uh, it's going to be quite comprehensive. We're, we're going to have five or six different phases and probably spanning around 25 to 30 videos. Seems like a lot. But the reason why I'm doing that is because uh, each video I'm trying to keep as uh, short as 20 to 30 minutes. So uh, we'll see how that goes. But um, the plan is subject to change, of course, as uh, most of you uh, understand. And, you know, in the real world, things things change. But um, let's walk through the plan. And then um, the next video, we'll start actually diving into actual work. So I'll try to keep this one quick. Okay, let's walk through the features. The um, Of course, we're going to have a complete property listing management system. Real estate agents need to be able to log in, add properties, remove properties, change the status from selling, uh, um, on the market, pending, sold, uh, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, they need to also manage, the be able to add photos, manage their uh, contacts, their CRM integrations, that kind of stuff. Next is the user authentication and profile management, of course. So users should be able to log in and manage their uh, profile, their username, uh, email address, uh, and also save properties and searches. We're going to, of course, have property search with map integration, so a listing view or map view or both. You'll, be, you'll need to be able to filter your searches by, by your, your preferences within price range, uh, property type and location. Users should be able to save properties as their favorites and save searches as well. Of course, that's a pretty standard. Um, that's a standard requirement nowadays. And then email notifications for new property alerts. So related to the property search or search uh, saved searches, users should be able to opt in for email notifications for when new properties come on board uh, with um, within their search parameters. Let's talk about the tech stack. Some of this is going to be obvious as we're using payload. So the front end will be Next.js based with the app router. Back end will be payload CMS. The database, we're going to use Postgres, Post, Postgres SQL. Styling, we're going to use Tailwind CSS version 4. Authentication, uh, we're going to use something called Payload AuthKit. Uh, you may have not heard of that before, or maybe you have in a previous video of mine. But it's something uh, on, on the, I've been working on bit by bit on the side. It's a full, com, uh, fully featured authentication system. All of the login screens, create account screens, um, one-time passwords, uh, reset passwords, uh, GitHub login, Google login. Out of the box, the uh, authentication is ready to go. We're going to have email, of course, through in production. We're going to use resend and getting that all set up. And then for local development, we'll we'll use Mailhog, which is a service you can run through Docker, so a fake inbox, so you're not accidentally sending emails out to the wrong people. And then deployment, we're going to use Vercel or DigitalOcean, or if you have some other ideas, uh, as, especially around the affordability side, uh, let me know. But I'm kind of leaning toward DigitalOcean, <clears throat> and uh, so we'll see. Let's talk about the different phases. Phase one is project setup and foundation. Uh, that that includes introduction and project overview, which I, I did in the I'm doing now, and uh, and in a previous video we did the initial project setup, <clears throat> kind of doing this a little out of order. Um, so yeah, initial project setup we set up uh, payload CMS um, as a mono repo, and uh, yeah, so that's it. We have when we have also we've also integrated Tailwind CSS as well as some uh, Shad CN UI components. We're also going to be doing data architecture planning, 
um, what, what's the data model? So uh, property, properties, all the different entities. We have properties, we have users, we have, um, we have media, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have property types, we have locations, um, all of that stuff. Uh, we're going to actually start implementing user authentication uh, with that auth kit that I mentioned. And then building the property collection. So now that we have, we planned out the data, we're going to actually get into uh, building out the collections for, um, for payload. Phase two is where we get into admin UI and front end development. Within admin UI, we may have um, we may have some custom fields that we're going to need, uh, custom layouts for property details. So when an agent logs in and they want to manage the property, what is that screen going to look like in the admin panel? Maybe it's tab based. Um, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. They need to be able to uh, manage images and media. Um, and then we're going to get start getting into the property detail page. And I've split that up into two parts at least. I won't be able to do that necessarily in, in a single video, so we're splitting that up. Um, so property details, of course, includes all of the images. We'll have an image gallery. Uh, we'll have all the description. We'll have all the different uh, features of the property, uh, bedroom, number of bedrooms, number of bathrooms, um, square feet, uh, selling price. Um, maybe we'll have some public APIs integrations with um, schools neighborhood information, demographics. Uh, we'll see if we have time for that. And then lastly, in phase two, we're gonna actually finally get to the homepage, which in my previous video, I did a demo of that static version of the page. Phase three is search and map features. So, and then property search. Uh, we're gonna have a list view. Uh, and and or uh, I'm a large map view. Uh, in the list view, we're going to get into like uh, uh, infinite scroll features and as well as components for each of the different properties. So little property cards. Uh, we're going to uh, users who are logged in should be able to save a search and of course filter on all their preferences within uh, price range, location, and uh, property type. Phase four, user features and personalization. This is where we, we dive a little bit deeper into the user dashboard where you can uh, manage your saved searches and your saved properties. Uh, you can, where you can opt in and manage your email notifications. We're gonna start integrating contact forms. And with that, uh, the responses of those or the um, submissions the messages of those contact forms and the and the email email address uh, will get sent off to uh, a CRM of the agent's choice. We'll have a few options for integrating with uh, CRMs, popular CRMs. And lastly, phase five, final touches and deployment. So we're going to touch on uh, latest SEO best practices for real estate making sure that all of the metadata we need uh, to be fully optimized for search uh, is there, as well as um, adjacent schema data, um, structured data uh, that we're gonna add to each of the property detail pages and the ver variety of other pages. Uh, if you're not familiar with that, um, I'll leave a link in the description on more information on structured data, but that's basically for search engines to get a better view of your page. Uh, uh, more consistent indexing, that kind of stuff. We're going to then finally deploy and launch the 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 app, and um, and then we'll we'll conclude with a project review. How did we do? Uh, any um, any take major takeaways? What did we do right? What did we do wrong? What could what could we have done better? And then uh, if we have time, we'll discuss advanced uh, bonus features for future videos. So. Uh, this th this being an MVP, there may be some things that you might want in a real estate application marketplace that uh, we weren't able to get to in these first sets of videos. So, 
All right, that's it for today. I really appreciate your time. Uh, tomorrow, we'll start actually getting into code, doing the data modeling and planning uh, for, for the different collections and stuff like that. So, all right, I really appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.